Hey everyone, Reaper here again with another video. This time I just wanted to do a brief review on this right here. I can't fit the whole box in the, the uh, screen here, but the BCW comic book bins. Now what this is is a plastic bin you know, that holds your comics, a short box. Instead of having a paper short box, this is a plastic one that you put together. Now BCW, just want to say, is not paying me to do this. No one has asked me to do this. I'm doing it because I saw this advertised on Facebook, and I said, oh, wow, that looks pretty cool. That looks like something nice and sturdy. Not that uh, the other short boxes, the regular short boxes that most of us use are not sturdy, but it looks like something sturdy to put some key books in. And um, I wanted to, I purchased two of them, and I wanted to do a brief review on it. So I'm going to switch the view over in a little bit. I'm not going to open the box. I'll just show you what's inside it in a few minutes, a, a few seconds rather. But uh, let me switch to uh, what exact, what you actually get inside uh, this box here. So let's take a look. Okay, everyone, I opened up the box. That's nothing left inside it. Um, it does not come with uh, instructions, uh, directions on how to build it. Uh, you can find the uh, in find the instructions or the directions or rather, uh, you know, uh, the directions rather off of the website, but you really don't need uh, directions. It's pretty self-explanatory on how to build this thing. Um, so anyway, comes with a little uh, plastic around some parts to protect it during ship shipment. Okay, this part right here, actually it's more like this. Take a good look right here. This is the part, uh, um, one end of the short box. You could tell because here is a groove. Here are grooves. I know you're getting a little bit of glare. So apologize for that. But here are the grooves for your hand so you could pick it up. And here's a little slot for you to put an index card or whatever to say, okay, uh, comics A through D are in here and so forth. So we got that piece. Now we have two. This is the side piece now. Let me show you. This is the, the top flap. Now, this box, as you can see, the top flap closes just as if you would have a short box that you put the, the, top, uh, the top part on. So this is the side, okay? Once again, it's all plastic. It's pretty sleek looking, you know. And here's the other side. Same thing with the flap. Another piece of uh, plastic covering another part. This part right here, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the floor of the box. Now you can see all these little, I mean, you probably can't because you know, I have, you knowing me, I have, you, know, you can see my videos, I have poor lighting. These are little grooves, okay? Those grooves are for the partitions. Now it comes with one partition, but you could also buy partitions on the website. Uh, when this thing is fully assembled, you put the partitions in here, they go into the grooves, and they hold it. They, they, you know, they're, they're held pretty tightly. So when you have comics leaning up on them, it holds them pretty tightly in the, uh, the new box you have here. So this is the, it comes with one partition, but you could buy more off the website. But once again, this is the, the base of the box. And here's the other side. The opposite end. Same thing as the first piece I showed, you know, with the groove. So when you have it completely built, you there are grooves here so you can pick it up. I'll show you what the complete built uh, box looks like in a moment. Okay, everybody, I'm back, and it's completely built now. Um, you're probably going to get a lot of glare because of the light and the black box will shine up against the computer screen. But um, it's pretty easy to build, like I was saying. Uh, Show you a little bit more of it. It's a small box, okay? And both sides, like I said earlier with the pieces, they have little grooves for your fingers so you can pick it up nice and easily. Um, each piece connects to a different piece of plastic, which really secures the uh, actual construction of, the, of this uh, short, uh, short box comic book bin. So it's not like something, if you pick it up the wrong way, you think it's going to collapse or anything like that. The grooves that each plastic piece uh, fits in is quite uh, sturdy and there are multiple points on each side so 
it's pretty easy to build, sometimes a bit of a pain in the ass trying to get everything to snap in, but there are probably better videos online to show you step by step on how to build this than what you're seeing here. But this is just my little review. Like I said, BCW is not paying me to do any of this. I'm just doing it because I was interested in this product. And for those of you that may be on the fence, I'm wondering, is this a worthy buy? I think so. But anyway, um, here's the partition. The partition has four points. As you can see right here, the little, the little slots of plastic. They could go into four points on the box, and there are grooves on the bottom of the box to hold it in quite firmly. So it can hold your books up upright, nice and uh, nice and straight, without any uh, worry of them collapsing and getting creases and all that stuff. The top part, the flaps, they close like this. You got to sort of like m match them up. Okay, I know you can't really see it too too well, but there are also little slots here that can lock them, lock the top. All right. Um, would I say it's worth? Let me turn the camera over a little so you could get it, get a better view. Um, is it worth picking up? Uh, I would. Yeah, I, I, I'm glad I purchased it. I think it. I think it was a very good purchase. I, I could. I bought two of them, and also one more thing. They could stack up on each other. You know, like those new CGC slabs, how they could just stack up. They're made. Uh, uh, with that uh, made that way. Well, these are made that way too, where they have these little pieces where on the bottom they snap into each other, so they could stack up and not have to worry about sliding and falling or whatever. If that's an issue, if that's even an issue at all. But I look, sort of like that. It sort of stacks up nice and neatly, straight, and so forth. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I purchased two of them. I would like to get another two, but not right now. Is this worth it? Will, you, will this protect your comics? Probably. You know, probably a little bit better than a regular short box. Do you need to get one? Uh, probably not. I mean, I would get I would get more, but I wouldn't, you know, I'm not in a rush to get more of these. I'm glad I got the two. I'm glad I picked out certain keys to put in them. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking to freeing up some space in here. Uh, it holds about 150 comics, but if you have Mylars and you double board, it's not going to be 150. It's going to be a lot less. And um, they're they're kind of pricey, about 20 something dollars a piece. Uh, maybe that's not a big deal, but the more you buy, the the, quanti the higher quantity you buy, you get a discount on each one, each additional one you purchase. But you're going to get nailed with the shipping, just to let you know that. Uh, two of these plus the shipping cost me um, over 50 bucks, which is kind of high for short bo for short boxes, I personally think. But I still think it was worth it. I really like them. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, review, and uh, thanks for watching. Take care.